Hey, hello everyone, it's Mike1211 here, and welcome back to Simutrons. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic signals tutorial, basically just going through the basics of train signals. So, uh, without further ado, let's find an open spot to go test this. Um, anyway, someone had mentioned in the comments that there weren't many English tutorials on signals, and they were having problems with them, so... This is for you, person who I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, it's just spelled so weird, I don't even want to try it. It looks like Ludwig, and then something else, but yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to do a really small dual track here. If you've watched my playthrough, you've seen this before. Uh, hold control, as was mentioned in a comment, to do straight tracks. I just forget about that. Okay. So this will be our simple dual track, and then at the end here we'll have some stations. Alrighty. Maybe make those a little bit longer. And then do the same. In fact, let's make a few more, just because I'm feeling like it. Okay, and then do the same for the other side here. And, oh, this was a bad spot to try that. Um... I'll just do it this way and then I'll uh, make it better by the end. Okay. So that's probably about the same length for both. Just go across here. Uh, whoops. This one's going to come back here. Not like that, but you know. Oh, and before I go farther, because I'm not connecting these up to anything right now. I to stop it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on free play mode, because I forgot to do that. Free play mode. Where is that? Players. Free play. Alright, now if I run out of money, I won't go out of business, no matter what. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Then all of these need to be redone. Alrighty. Let's see here. If I have an always right mentality, then I did this slightly wrong. Oh no, it'll be fine. Okay. Alright, there we go. So there's our basic track and everything. Uh, we'll throw down a train depot now, as you do, and uh, we'll get some trains. Oh wait, not yet. Uh, we need to set up our stations. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. It's been a while since I played any game. Speaking of which, I have a new mic, and this is the first one that I'm doing with it to really actually try to do it. I have tried to do some before, but... Uh, those ones didn't turn out, <clears throat> so hopefully this one turns out okay. Sorry about that. Um, and then yes, we'll make some trains. Go ahead and... Oh, no, not that. We'll go ahead and make them passenger trains just because... Go from here... To here... We don't care about that. Go ahead and promote it to a line, that way I can copy it later. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up the signals before I start this train. Uh, so basically, these are your basic signals right here. Rail signals. Um, in fact, yeah, let me talk about this. I'm using Pack 64 right now, the basic pack that comes with the game every single time. Uh, but every pack should always have a rail signal, basically a basic signal, pre-signals, uh, these are more advanced, as is the long block signal. And then choose signals, which uh, I'm going to call basic as well. They aren't basic, I'm going to call them choose signals, but yeah. So, 
what you want to do with your basic rail signals is for a two lane track you want to go ahead and put one down and click it until the red is going in the direction that you want the train to go and then you can click on that one again and drag in the direction the train is going and you make a signal and basically this allows the train to keep going in this direction um, I'll go over a bit more what these things actually do afterwards uh, and then what you want to do is when you're coming up to multiple stations you put down a choose signal now this can be a two-way choose signal it doesn't matter too much I don't think but go ahead and make it in the direction that the trains are coming and I'll do the same for this side and also do the basic signals all right and go ahead and copy this well let's see here how many does this have four so I can for sure have four probably five since I'm not going to be doing anything more advanced than this all right go ahead and start all these trains and well that was weird okay hopefully that doesn't happen anymore but anyways no it does that every time what did I do here in the scheduling maybe it was something in the scheduling hold on where's my line management Let me see if that fixes it. It might not, though, because it's... That's just weird. Does that fix it? It seems to have. Okay. So, as you can see, right now, the trains are going round. If they run into another train, they choose a different platform. You can sometimes see that up here. I might have to put some more trains on the track before that becomes super obvious. But anyways, we've got a nice signal system going. And, yeah, everything's great. So, let me go ahead and put a few more on the track, I guess. Um, yeah, what am I doing? Alright. And let's go ahead and put, like, five more out there. That's not good. That's not how that's supposed to work. What have I done? Oh, well, now most of it's working. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. But now you can see they choose different stations to go to. Um, now, this is very congested. You would never really want it like this. So, there is that, but... This is just to show how it's everything's working. So, let me explain how these uh, basic signals work a little bit more. The choose signals, I think you can see, it just helps uh, trains choose a station that's open in the list of stations. And the trains are smart. When they run into a choose signal, if one of the stations is too small, like let's say these are all uh, four length trains. I think they often choose this one, don't they? If this one suddenly becomes less than what they can handle, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's a five length train, actually, if I remember right. They should stop going to this station now. And they aren't. That's interesting. On my other one, they were. Hmm. <laughs> well, usually the trains are smarter than this. Um... Oh, you know what it is? It's because they aren't necessarily choosing this one. So let me go to the other one that they are choosing and go ahead and... Because uh, this is where I put the line, so... This one I should be able to make less and they'll never choose it now. So the trains are smart as long as you don't have it so that the uh, stop is specifically on the particular one that you're going to make smaller than what they can handle. The trains will be smart and go around and choose ones 
that are big and I think the small ones will also choose ones that are just the right size for them and not take up the big ones. So that's another nice uh, feature about the choose signal. Um, and as you can see, they're doing that here too. Of course, it's all getting congested because, well, <laughs> there's only one way out. And so these trains are sometimes waiting here for a long time to finally get clearance to go. All right, so what a base, what these uh, signals basically do. Oh, they're getting stuck because of uh, they haven't had a chance to get out. All right, so let me just show you what these signals do by destroying more of them. Okay, so basically these two signals right here, from here to here, uh, designate a block of track. If a train is inside this block, they will not allow trains to pass the signal that it runs into. So hopefully we'll see that here. I don't... Let me designate a block even farther back. Okay, so now it's a block. Oh. Well, now we've got a problem because I did that too early. But these ones will make it through just fine. So I'll have to show you on the next train. Okay, so basically this is your block of track now from this signal all the way up to here. So here comes the train. And he should have to stop because there's a train in this block. And he'll have to wait here until this train gets passed. And once this train has exited this block of track, then he will be allowed to go. And there you go. So that's how a basic signal works. Um, as I said, these are one-way signals, and whichever way you see the red is the way that the trains are allowed to go. If you want to do two-way signals, and um, I don't suggest it because it's it doesn't actually allow you to use more than one train efficiently anyways. So there's really no point to that. And like usually you wouldn't have trains just trying to keep going around. That's why this is so inefficient. Um, usually, let me just fix these signals too. It's better to have smaller blocks so that they don't get hung up as easily. It basically lets the trains go right behind each other really easily. So... There you have that. If I fast forward, do these guys finally get to go? Hey, he finally got to go. Look at that. And there that one went. So, I don't know why these stuck symbols are now stuck. But they are. Um, yeah, those guys aren't stuck. They will eventually get a turn. The trains usually tend to take turns if they're wanting to get out. So It's just sometimes they don't play nice with each other. And in fact, I think I need a signal here just to help flow a little bit. Because also this entire thing is considered a block. And so the trains have to wait till this whole track is clear before they can go out. So it's important to have that as close to the stations as possible to keep them as close together as possible. I think what you could do... No, I can't because those are intersections. So, no, I can't do that. Uh, let's see if I extend one more. I'm kind of experimenting here now. Have fun, trains, getting through that. Alright, well. This is going to be an issue. It should be okay. Oh, now they're all trying to go the other way. But you can't do that, trains. It's a one way. Oh, no, I see what he's going to do. Oh, boy, that's a weird one. Here you go, no route for you. <laughs> there we go, now they should be able to find a route again, finally. I might have messed this guy up. I don't think it'll ever be clear, and this guy. I'll have to see if I can get them to go back uh, for something. Or go to depot and then they should reroute themselves. 
anyways, what I was wanting to try to do is just put some signals on these pieces of track. Just to see if this could help uh, congestion any. I don't know that it will, though. No, that's no different than them waiting at their station, so... Hey, they fixed themselves. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's no different than them waiting at a station to go, so... Doesn't help. Doesn't help. Um, if you put them this way, maybe it would help, but then you can't have stations right next to each other, and that is stupid. So... Yeah, that's pretty pointless. Those signals that I just put down are pretty pointless. So, yeah, that should be basic signals. Um, I hope this helped you. If, uh, if it, hopefully it did. Like I said, you can have two-way signals like this. Uh, they work the same way as one way, except for it allows trains to go both ways. Um, there are very few times when you want to do that. Like if there's a bottleneck situation area, like here. Let me just create one. But there are better ways to handle this, by the way, that it, the thing that I'm about to create. At least so I've heard. Alright, pause. I'm going to make a bottleneck situation. So basically everyone here has to go down to one track. And actually I don't need dual way signals for this one. trains should just solve themselves. Uh, that's kind of... Okay, yeah, it's working. I say it's working. And fast forward, the trains seem to phase through each other, but, you know. <laughs> but because this is one section of track, these signals handle it. So. There you go. But this is obviously very slow, and you don't usually want to do a bottleneck situation where you have to have one track. But if you do, and you know, you can do it this way. Um, you could also put a signal here, but I'm afraid that might kill some trains. Uh, they'll get stuck. Or they will just never be able to go. I guess that could happen too. I think I have a officially gotten it stuck now. Here, you... Can you find a way to a depot? There we go. Now it's free again. Alright, oh, this is going to be weird now because of cross tracks and all that. Anyways, I think you get the picture of how signals work. So, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope this helped you at least understand the basics of signals and how trains use them. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!